So hello, good day everyone. I am Ingrid Godalkiver from BSN 11G Group 27. And so for today, I'm going to perform a preparatory demonstration about the anterior and posterior thorax. So this evaluation of thorax is an essential component of the physical examination. The traditional system approach involves the inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation of both anterior and posterior thorax. So this assess assessment helps us to determine if the patient has any abnormalities in his or her thorax. So first and foremost is we need to review the patient's medical record if available. Since my patient has no medical records because it is his first time doing this assessment. And second, we need to determine the scope of the assessment and prepare the equipment to be needed. So we have the uh, stethoscope, we also have the patient's gown, we have the comprehensive form, we also have the ball pen and the notebook, the marker, the gloves, and the alcohol. And also perform hand washing in order to deter the spread of microorganism and don gloves if needed. So I already closed the door, fixed the curtains, adjust the room temperature, and provide adequate lighting for my patient's comfort and privacy. So hello sir, good day. How are you feeling today? Okay, sir, thank you. So it is important to greet the client in order to establish a good rapport between the healthcare provider and the patient. So, sir, let me introduce myself to you. I am Iri Godaki I am your student nurse for today. So may I know your full name, please? Okay. So when is your birthday? June 7, 2004. Okay, so how would you like me to call you? Yeah. Okay. And which language do you prefer? Do you prefer English or Visaya? English. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. So, sir, Bien, the procedure that I'll be doing is I'm going to touch, I'm going to assess your anterior and posterior thorax, and I'm going to touch some parts of your body, and there are certain procedures that you need to follow, such as sitting or standing. So, is that okay with you, sir, Bien? Yes. Any concerns or questions? Okay, thank you. So, sir, Bien, I'm going to ask some questions. Is that okay with you? Okay, so, sir, Bien, um... Uh, do you feel chest pain? Okay. So do you observe wheezing when you breathe? Okay. And do you have any problems in your breathing? Okay. Thank you. So first and foremost is we need to survey the chest and the respiration. So check for signs and respiratory distress like nasal flaring, first list breathing and retractions, or problems with oxygenation. Observe the color of the face, the lips, the chest, and the fingernails. And also, palpate the super nasal notch and note the position of the trachea. So, okay, Sir Ben, can you inhale and exhale for me, please? Okay, one more. Okay, so now, Sir Ben, I'm going to check for your face, your lips, your chest, and your fingernails. So, okay. I see and then you can I see your fingernails okay thank you and also um can you turn your uh, right head for me please okay can you turn your left head for me please okay thank you sir Ben so now we are going to inspect for the configuration while the client stands with the arms at the side, stood behind the client and observe the position of the scapula and the shape of configuration of the chest wall so, Sir Ben, is that okay that I'm going to touch your chest? Okay. Okay. So, Sir Ben, can you stand up for me, please? Okay. Okay, thank you. You can sit down now, Sir. And now, I'm going to inspect for the spinal alignment and deformities. From a lateral position, observe the three normal curvatures. You have the cervical, thoracic, and the lumbar. To assess for lateral deviation of spine or scoliosis, observe the standing a client from the rear. Have the client bend forward at the waist and observe from behind. So, Sir Bien, can you bend for me, please, like you are tying your shoelace? <laughs> Thank you. So now I'm going to palpate for the posterior thorax. So assess the temperature and integrity of the chest skin. Palpate all thorax areas for bulges, tenderness, or abnormal movement, especially for clients who have respiratory complaints. 
so Serbian. Kindly uh, uh, backward for me, please. Okay. So, so sir, I'm going to uh, touch some of your chest wall. Is that okay with you? Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. So now I'm going to palpate for the posterior thorax for respiratory excursion or the thoracic expansion. Place the palms of both of your hands over the lower thorax with your thumbs adjacent to the spine and your fingers stretched laterally. Ask the client to take a deep breath while you observe the movement of your hands and any lag in movement. So, sir, can you inhale for me, please? Exhale. Okay, one more, one more time. Can you inhale? Exhale for me, sir, please. Okay, thank you. So now I'm going to palpate for the thorax for vocal tactile primitus, the faintly perceptible vibration. So place the palmar surface of your fingertips of the ulnar aspect of your hands or closed face on the posterior thorax, starting the near apex of the lungs and ask for the client to repeat such words such as the blue moon or the one, two, or three. Repeat the two steps moving your hands sequentially to the base of the lungs and start toward the midline of the level of the scapula over the apex of the lung and move your hand left to the right comparing findings bilaterally. Move systematically downward out to cover the lateral positions of the lungs to the bases. Compare the primitus on both lungs and between the apex and the base of each lung using either one hand and moving it from one side of the client to the corresponding area on the other side using the two hands that are placed simultaneously on the corresponding areas of each side of the thorax. So sir, can you see the word blue moon for me and can you repeat it? Okay. 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 Thank you sir. So now I'm going to percuss for the posterior thorax. So ask the client to bend the head and fold the arms forward across the chest. Percuss the inter intercostal spaces about 5 cm or 2 inches, intervals in a systematic um, sequence. Compare one side of the lung with the other. Percuss the lateral thorax for every few inches, starting at the axilla and breaking down to the 8th rib. So sir, I'm going to percuss your thorax. Okay, thank you. So now I'm going to measure the diaph diaphragmic excursion. Use percussion to identify the level of diaphragm and measure diaph diaphragmatic excursion. Percuss downwards from above the expected level of the diaphragm dullness until uh, the dullness is definitely heard. Mark the level of full expiration after gaining the patient's permission for demarking. Had the patient inhale deeply and hold it, then percuss downward the level of dullness of inspiration and mark it. Repeat this process on the other side, measure the distance between the expiratory and inspirator inspiration and mark it. Repeat this process on the other side, measure the distance between the expiratory and inspiratory levels of dullness. So sir, is it okay I'm going to put mark on your back? Okay. So sir, can you um, inhale for me please and can you hold it? Exhale. Okay, so sir, can you inhale for me, please? And then you can you hold it. Okay, you can exhale now. Okay, so sir, can you inhale for me, please, and hold it? Exhale. So, okay, sir, kindly inhale and hold it for me, please. Exhale. So now, auscultate for breath sounds. Place the diaphragm of the stethoscope firmly and directly on the posterior chest wall of the apex of the lung at C7. Ask the client to breathe deeply through the mouth for each area of auscultation, each placement of the stethoscope. Using the systemic ladder pattern used in percussion, listen at the each point to the breath sounds during a complete inspiration and expiration. Compare findings at each point with the corresponding point of the opposite side of the thorax. And note the location on the chest where adventurous sounds are heard, such as well the location of sounds within the respiratory cycle. So 
okay, sir? Can you kindly inhale for me, please? Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, sir. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. So now, Oscar paid for the voice sounds. Um, bronchophony. Ask the client to repeat the phrase 99 while auscultating the chest wall. So, okay, sir, kindly repeat the word 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. So, uh, now, um, for the egophony, ask the client to repeat the letter E while listening over to the chest wall. So, sir, can you repeat the word E for me, please? E. Yes, sir. E. 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 Okay, thank you. So, now, for the whispered petrology, uh, ask the client to whisper the phrase 1, 2, 3 while oscillating the chest wall. So, sir, kindly whisper the words 1, 2, and 3 for me, please? Okay, thank you. So now, so now as a scene for the anterior thorax. Inspect the breathing pattern such as the respiratory rate and rhythm. Inspect the coastal angle uh, formed by the intersection of the coastal margins and the angle at which the ribs enters to the spine. So sir, um, kindly face forward for me please. So is that okay with you? I'm going to trust, uh, touch your chest. Okay, thank you. So, palpate the anterior thorax for tenderness, sensation, surface masses, or crepitus. Using your fingers to palpate the tenderness of sensation, start palpating with your hand position over to the left clavicle, over the apex of the lung, and move your hand left to compare findings by literary. Move your hand systematically downward to the midline of the level of the breast and outward to the base to include the lateral aspects of the lung. Repeat the sequence uh, and palpating the crepitus primitus in your as anterior thorax. So now I'm going to uh, touch your chest. Is that okay with you? Okay. Okay, thank you. So now I'm going to palpate for the anterior thorax of the respiratory expression. Place the palms, both of your hands, on the lower thorax with your fingers laterally along the lower rib cage and your thumbs with coastal margins. And ask the client to take a deep breath while observe the movement of your hands. So, okay, sir, kindly um, have a deep breath for me, please. Okay. Okay, thank you. So now I'm going to percuss for the anterior thorax systematically. Being percussing about the clavicles of the superclavicular space and proceed downward to the diaphragm and compare the lung on one side to the lung on the other side. This place the female breast to facilitate percussion of the lungs. So sir, kindly uh, lay in the bed, please. So I'm going to percuss your abdomen. Is that okay? Okay, thank you. So you can now stand up, sir. So auscultate for anterior breath sounds, a vicious breath and voice. So now auscultate for the trachea, auscultate for the anterior thorax, and place the diaphragm of the stethoscope firmly and directly on the anterior chest wall. And auscultate from the apices to the lungs slightly above the clavicles of the bases of the lungs to the sixth rib. So ask the client to dip briefly through the mouth in an effort to avoid transmission of the sounds that may occur in nasal breathing. Listen at the each side for at least one complete respiratory cycle and listen for normal breath sounds for adventurous breath. Follow the systematic ladder pattern. So sir, can you take a deep breath from your mouth, please? Okay. 
Thank you, sir. So summarize the information of painting the working phase and discuss the findings with the client. Discuss with the client possible plans to resolve health concern if present. So sir, we are done with our assessment. I'm going all, I'm going to summarize all the information that I've gathered. Rest assured that this information that I've gathered is confidential and would be handed to the doctor directly. So regarding in your chest and respiration, no respiratory dizziness or or problems with your oxygenation, it means it is normal and good. So in examining the posterior thorax, your spine is symmetrically aligned, spinal column is straight, right and left shoulders and hips are in the same height. During the palpation of anterior and posterior thorax, your skin is intact and your temperature is in uniform, which is good and normal. For the respiratory excursion, you have a systematically and full storage of expansion, which is good. So for the thorax and vocal primitus, you have a bilateral symmetry of vocal primitus. Primitus is a cleared heavy, which is good and normal. During the percussion, it resonates, expect over the scapula. For the diaphragmic excursion, the vesicular and brovesicular breath sounds. So for the auscultate breath sounds, you have a quiet rhythm and effortless respiration, which is good and normal. So in assessing your anterior thorax, we palpate it in your thorax, it is full and systematic. So during the percussion, resonance sound in the sixth rib flat over the area and heavily massive down on the areas over the heart and tympanic over underlying this trauma. Then in auscultating your anterior thorax, you have an adventurous breath. And for finding, uh, for finding, uh, it is good and normal. So for your findings, it is um, normal and good. So um, assess for the client's understanding of the plan and need for the further teaching. Provide the client to opportunity to clarify and ask and raise any concerns. So Sir Ben, I suggest you to do exercise every four times a week because when you exercise your heart beat faster fast and your lungs work harder so your body needs more oxygen to to fuel your muscles your lungs step up their activity to deliver that oxygen while expelling additional carbon dioxide like doing um brisk walking or doing like exercise just for like four times a week so avoid exposing yourself to polluted areas because polluted air can damage your lungs and Accelerate aging and also I suggest you to eat healthy foods in order for you to have a healthy posterior and anterior thorax. And also thank the client and end the interview politely, perform hand washing and document the findings in the client record using the printed electronic forms of the checklist and supplemented by narrative notes which is appropriate. Okay, sir, thank you and have a nice day. And that's it for the proper demonstration about the anterior and posterior thorax.